It's a little kind of drop and then a turn. Yeah, it's fun. Chair spinning, but glasses are stuck. <laughs> should, I just, should I just wear them for the day like yeah, this? They just broke it. <laughs> Coffee in the morning. Who are we? Got the sunscreen on. Beard is just filled with uh, with white smutch. Oh my god! Looks like a few people want to go backcountry skiing today. Bourbon Danish. <laughs> You could ski down and skin back up, but we don't need those turns. Boom. So we're headed up to the East Coal, which is the area there to the left. You can see some bodies up there. That's where we're headed. Right there, that's Black Home Peak from the back and, uh, and DOA coming out of there. Rob, any ideas? Starting off, downhill. Downhill is a good way to start. Circle Lake, we've got Pattison. Guides Notch is somewhere over there. Sharky, dude, ha! We'll go right here. Fucking hell. A few bones, Rob. Dude. There's only rocks. Ha. Oh, that's heavy ass snow. Weird. Totally went back. Ha. That's tricky snow. <laughs> that's a herky jerky. That was nice. Can't be sad about that. No. Oh, oh. That was wonderful. That was great. Scooching right across the lake and dropping down. Yeah. We've never actually gone up here. Oh, look at that. We should, oh, we, we should do some powder eights today, actually. It's a good day for powder eights. I don't think on my skis I can turn that small. Yeah, those were those were like all hip action. I don't know who comes out next. Perfect. Oh, lovely. We're about to get the first uh, kind of fresh downhill of the day. We scoped out a fresh little slot. I just launch hard left. Oh, <laughs> just beautiful. All right, I'm ready when you are. Hell yeah, yeah, boys. Oh, nice. Nicely done, dude. Little powder eights there. That just felt really nice. Yeah. Top couple, I had to fall in line, but we had it by the end. Yeah, I kind of had to, to side hill across. Keep it going if you want. Oh, man, that looks beautiful, eh? Cruisy.
Oh, it's cold down here. Not too bad. So now we're gonna head up to DOA to finish it off in there because you don't have too much daylight this time of year. I freaking love helicopters. It's so a helicopter. We're about to watch some dudes ski a pretty sweet shoot in front of us. We'll eat in a PBJ. Life doesn't get better than this unless I was the guy skiing down that sweet line. So the boys are headed towards DOA, which is Black O Mountain. Whoa, right there. But given the low snowpack, I can't imagine it's running good in there. It's just beautiful, guys. You can't beat the beauty of the Black Home backcountry. It's really just something else. It's so majestic, so marvelous. Otherworldly, really unmatched in here. It's a skier's playground. That's the line we ski down this morning, right here. Then we skin kind of up and across here. And then we ski down that way. We're just doing a big circle. We're gonna have an interesting skin up because it's very, very steep to get back up this side here. It would be much preferred if this cloud would just bugger off. Is it gonna blow over? It might. Let's go up here. Steep skinning 101. Walk up steep shit. It's gonna be fun. What is, what are we looking at here? Tip so, the top of the Black Home Glacier. So that's our up track right there. Like, took that up track all the way there. Oh, we're above the Black Home Glacier. Yeah. Oh, shit. How much money is 100 nickels? Five bones, dude. Five bucks, what can that get you? That can get you a chocolate croissant in the morning, dude. Yeah. Oh, Danish, that's what it was called. It was like a Danish though, but gave us some serious chocolatine vibes. A lot of building DOA means death upon, death on arrival or whatever. Death upon arrival or death on arrival. But I think it means down, over, and around. And right now we're either doing the over or the around. And uh, I'm not sure uh, which one that is. This looks promising. This looks kind of like a big nasty shoot that you see from 7th Evan. Yeah, exactly. It's funny, when you look at it, I always was under the assumption that you'd be like right on the top of Black Hill Mountain, you know? A few minutes later. This is gonna be magical. What a beautiful view up here with these mega rocks. It's just, it's just nice. Standing at the top of DOA. Bottoms up, ladies and gents. Love it. Woo! And way down we go. Cannot hit that note. I am not Kaleo. You want me to lead the charge? Yeah, you want it? Sure, I mean, unless you want it, Dunks. No, no, I'm good. I don't think I can really charge into here. No, 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 no. It's totally unfair. Okay. Wow. We got full clarity, boys. Wow. Too cool. I've never been in here, so I don't know if left is better or right is better. Right looks kind of fun, dude. It's a little kind of drop and then a turn. Yeah, it's fun. Woo! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Of them. Oh, that was awesome. A lot of rocks near the bottom, though. Woo! Woo! 
Found it. Ooh, rocks. Lots of rocks. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> Work those squats. I like to move it, move it. Oh, yeah. oh there it is. Found it. All right, Rob, go first, brother. See you soon. Enjoy, my friend. <laughs> Looks fun. Woo! Woo! Oh, sick. Woo! <laughs> Sick! Oh, kind of rocky. So much fall line. Cool. <laughs> oh, there you are. That is fabulous. That might be one of my favorite backcountry lines I've ever done. Just straight fall line. That was a lot of vert. That was exceptionally fun. You remember when you asked what run has the most vert? Yeah. That's gotta be awfully close. Pretty steep. All those undulations just kept going like, is it a cliff? Nope, nice. Yeah. Is it a cliff? Yeah, nope, roll. nice. What a day, boys. Nice work. Nice, nice work. I'm absolutely stoking right now. That might be my favorite backcountry run ever just for the sheer amount of fall line. My mouth is filled with Haribo gummy bears. I'm trying to get the weight down before you ski to the bottom. Oh, I lost a soldier. I'll see you on the cat track. <laughs> Robin, I like that man has nothing to lose. <laughs> this poor ski. I'll zoom in on it when I get to the car. That, I don't think I should ride on that again. I don't think it's even safe. My tried and trues. I noticed this morning something interesting was going on. I cracked them last year, but look at this. They're done. They are 100% done. And with that, we're gonna have to get on a different pair of skis. Bye bye 115s. Little bummed about my ski, but it's been broken since last year. Four days in, there was the crack. Now the edge finally ripped off and all we're seeing is wood. Beautiful pine underneath my feet, but uh, time to lay those to rest. I'll see you when there's snow again. Stay spicy, stay safe, ski a lot, and sayonara.